All right, so as you can see in that clip at the beginning there, I had the pit pad mod along with the pit pad, or not, I'm sorry, the pit boy flashlight mod working. And here in this quick little video, I'm just gonna show you guys the proper way of installing these two mods. So the pit boy light actually shines in front of you. I'm gonna go ahead and remove both of these mods for the sake of this video. All right, and you want to go to the Pip Boy flashlight and the Pip Pad mod Nexus website. Go ahead and install whatever corresponding one you would like. Go ahead and download that. All right, once that's done, you want to go ahead and head over to the Pip Boy flashlight. Head to the files. Make sure you manual download this one for sure. You do not want to download this one. Through the nexus mod manager all right once you have both of those mods downloaded you want to install the pip pad mod first that is very important you want to install the pip pad mod first so go ahead and take this drag it into your mod manager okay this portion is not important you can pick whatever you desire pass the mcm now here is really important. You can pick whether you want the flashlight to come from your head or from your pit boy. I prefer the pit boy, but make sure you remember which one you pick. That is very important. Once you pick that, go ahead and finish that. Once that's done, you can go ahead and take your pit boy flashlight. Go ahead, manually down. Uh, Install it, and again, pick the same Pip Boy flashlight you wish to use. You can pick whatever sound you would like, and you can pick whatever optional option you would like. Pick whatever texture you would like. Same with the power armor. Pick whatever texture you would like. All right. Then you pick your distance, finish. And once that's done, all the errors should clear. And that's not the final step. Your final step, and this is the most important step to get this to work. You want to open up your Pip Boy flashlight bar folder. And you want to go into your Fallout game folder. To get there, all you got to do Steam, Fallout 4, Properties, Local Files. Browse. Once you have that folder up, it's going to be in data. And you're looking for meshes. Once meshes is up, or when you found meshes, you want to go into the Pip Boy Flashlight RAR file, open up Pip Boy Flashlight, go into Core, and whatever one you picked, I picked Pip Boy. I'm going to take this meshes folder and drag and drop it into the meshes folder in the fallout data folder. You want to click replace the file in the destination. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load it up. All right, we are in. And as you can see, I'm going to walk over here. Pull up my Pip Pad 3500. As you can see, working well, working fine. Everything works properly. It's the Pip Pad. And if I try to turn on my Pip Boy flashlight, just like that. Working fine and dandy. Hope this worked out for you guys.